believe it or not, my first stalking victim was me. Stalking is not what we think it is. And a lot of people either stretch what stalking is or they can't identify it in their lives correctly. When you can't identify stalking correctly in your life, then everything starts to look like stalking, right? It's a little bit confusing, isn't it? Is that person just interested in me and wants a relationship? Is that family member just following me on social media and not trying to be creepy about it, right? Not trying to stalk me, but they're following me because they miss me. They're interested. They want to know what's going on in my life or they're jealous of me and want to see what's going on in my life compared to their own. It's, it's difficult, right? To identify what stalking is. And because of the term gang stalking, it's hard to tell if the word stalking is being stretched and being fitted to your life or is this actually stalking in today's video i'm just going to touch a little bit on what stalking really is and i'm going to highlight what stalking by proxy is but before we do that let me just briefly introduce myself in case you're new to my channel my name is tamara i'm internationally and i'm board certified as a trauma therapist i'm licensed in mental health I specialize in treating children, teens, and families, as well as adults who are dealing with trauma, right in my private practice. Let's jump in. My first incident of stalking um, happened when I was a, a, a brand new therapist to a group private practice, I'm gonna say at least eight years ago. And I had absolutely no idea that I was going to be the victim of a stalker until I remember getting these repeated phone calls from this person and I couldn't understand why I had become an interesting person to that stalker. I recognized that I was, you know, an attractive therapist. I was young, uh, really young in my 20s, my late 20s. I was fresh. I was new. Um, I was intellectual and cerebral. And all of those things um, can be attracting to certain people, right? And it can be even more attracting when that individual is a, a client or a patient seeking help and they, they look up to you, right? They, they want to be you sometimes and or they want you to be their parent, their lover, something, right? So that position of client therapist in and of itself can be a tricky one, but I never saw it coming my way. It was only until I got maybe the 10th or 11th phone call that I remember pulling my car over on the side of the road and breaking down crying in my mom's arms. And I says, mom, I'm so tired of this. And my wonderful mom said, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna figure out what to do. Thankfully, this individual who I categorized as a psychotic stalker here's the thumbnail to my video that i did here about psychotic stalkers and you can click this link at the end of this video if you want to go check that video out psychotic stalker is exactly what this individual was and i had to learn from that point on that these people are relentless so what do you do when you are the victim of 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 stalking by proxy well first i encourage you to become educated about it now Stalking by proxy is basically group stalking and gang stalking, right? Those are the, those are the more uh, well-known terms that you might see online or that you may hear somebody talk about. But the, the clinical term for this is stalking by proxy. And it's when one individual uses a group of people, whether knowingly or unknowingly, to stalk a victim or another individual now let me just let me clarify what this is so here's the way that i want you to look at this i want you to see it in three different ways now multiple stalkers which is stalking by proxy could be family or friends that the stalker has enlisted to harass you to be relentless to follow you, to call you, and to use every ounce of communication to wear you down. 
email, phone calls, text messages, social media posts, uh, even sometimes graffiti or paintings on walls, um, you know, leaving things at your doorstep, sending unsolicited mail or sending people to your home unnecessarily, uh, who is maybe a cousin or an uncle or a friend or a coworker, multiple stalkers. I want you to see this as a, as a, um, almost like a, uh, how do I want to say this? Almost like a group thing. Okay. So multiple stalkers, they're in a group and they're all in cahoots. Okay. That's stalking by proxy. It's one individual who encourages several other people to do the dirty work as well. Example of this would be years ago, I had a family uh, where a father was incarcerated and he had, you know, he was he was the perpetrator of domestic violence in the home. Unfortunately, the child started uh, experiencing symptoms of PTSD after watching dad beat his mom almost to death and stab her 20 times. But she lived surprisingly and thankfully. Um, but when this family came to me, what dad was doing behind bars was printing up all these flyers and he put her picture on it. Um, he said um, uh, that she was a sex worker, that she was a prostitute and was looking for so many, so many hundreds of dollars in exchange for sexual favors and other things that were too risque to talk about. Um, he had those flyers printed up. He gave them to somebody on the outside of the jail. Then the flyers got mailed everywhere that they could be mailed in the neighborhood. And she had for, I'm going to say approximately five months, people coming to her door looking for sexual favors. It was the most despicable thing that I had ever seen. So he utilized uh, stalking by proxy, giving it to somebody else, giving these flyers and photos to somebody else who then mailed it into the neighborhood or around the neighborhood who then, right, ended up uh, at some point uh, during that time, actually taking those flyers and laying them on her porch so she'll know who they are from. Very terrifying situation. Now, another group that you want to think about is independent stalkers. Now, you know, these are the individuals who may or may not know, and for the most part, they don't know that they are being enlisted to stalk someone. So let's say, for example, you decide you don't want to deal with you know, maybe that uncle over there that you never really knew, but for some reason he keeps calling you and trying to mail things to you and sending you things and sending you flowers and wanting to get to know you a little bit better. Or let's say you're interested in that guy over there or that woman over there. And then you realize, okay, I don't know if I really want you. Um, I'm sorry. The signals were confused. I don't want anything to do with you. Whatever the case, this particular stalker is an independent stalker. And what happens here is, let's say they call Popeyes, for example, if you guys know what Popeyes is, the restaurant, and has food delivered from Popeyes to your house, right? You didn't ask for it, you didn't know it was coming, and here's Popeyes at the front door. Maybe the next day, there's FedEx at your front door, right? You don't know how he's there and what does he want? And then the next day, there's Amazon, and the day after that, Target now is delivering to you, and then Walmart, and then, you know, whatever the next store is that you're used to, Sam's Club. So, so it is an independent stalker, one person who is utilizing all these different services to get a job done. Multiple stalkers working together, now, this is enlisting stalkers, okay? This is where one stalker may pay a family member, uh, a friend, a co-worker, a boss to stalk you, harass you, and find out information about you, okay? They may also, the stalker may also enlist your neighbors to watch you and to do things around you where you don't suspect they're watching and trying to get information but they are stalkers by proxy. They are very sneaky. They're manipulative. Um, and a lot of them tend to be narcissists and sociopaths who have a really hard time connecting in relationships. They also are resentful and they feel rejected sometimes. Keep in mind that, um, you know, the, the presence of multiple stalkers in your life, 
um, or, or group stalking or gang stalking, whatever you want to call it, doesn't necessarily mean that there are other people actually working in cahoots with that one stalker. You got to keep in mind that not every stalker has a group of people that they know who are coming against you. Sometimes they are, you know, one stalker who is doing things like contacting delivery drivers to get them to go to your house. Some people even in the past, um, I've heard through some of my colleagues who have worked with stalkers, they've noticed that some people will call the police, the fire department, whatever, and get them coming to your house repeatedly, right? Uh, one time I had a coworker, um, I'm going to say this was like over 10 years ago, I had a coworker who, you know, would sit next to me in group therapy and, and we both lead group therapy as therapists and, you know, her cell phone would ring and she would get up and go answer it and it was the fire department at her front door and thankfully she had a, a camera she tuned in and she's like, there's no fire here and the fire uh fire workers were saying things like well we got a phone call from you um you were frantic and you were telling us to hurry up and she's like no that never happened uh one time she even had the police and the fbi at her front door um because somebody had reported she was bringing in people to sell drugs and that there was a meth lab in her basement so so this one individual who happened to be her ex-husband used other people and they didn't know what was going on but but he used other people to get his dirty job done so you may be wondering what are some of the behaviors here how do i know that i am actually being you know gang stalked what's going on here well the first thing that you want to think about is are there are there individuals who know me or know my stalker, right? And if so, what are they doing? Are they distributing flyers on my property? Are they distributing flyers at my work site in a nearby park? Um, are they putting false information about me online, right? Is there a chat room about me? Is there a social media forum about me? Are they spreading photos about me? Maybe they got something from, you know, some kind of event we had together. Are they taking those photos and putting them online? Line, right are they are they requesting a series of 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 um, delivery drivers and public figures and delivery guys to come to my home and if so what's the purpose of that right is is the purpose of that to drive me insane or is the purpose of that to let me know that I'm disliked and that the stalker is angry right so you want to know why are they doing this if you can pinpoint why Okay, and check out my live chat that I did right here on the same sub subject. I'm going to post the link up here. You can check that out at the end of this video. I explain the different kinds of stalkers that you may be dealing with. Then you want to ask yourself, is this a in, is this an individual who is exchanging um, something for stalking me, right? Are they paying this person to stalk me? Are they sleeping with this person to stalk me? Are they dating this person to stalk me? What is actually going on here? You also want to keep in mind that gang stalkers tend to be independent of the people that they are using against you, right? So again, maybe the stalker has a vendetta against you, but his or her family members have no idea that he is trying to harass you. An example of that may be, let's say your ex-wife decides to go to your grandmother and say, I've just been really worried about Tom over there. I just don't know why he's been acting strange. You know, I just feel like somebody needs to check on him at least daily for the next couple of months. Your grandmother may, out of concern for you, check on you every day, all day, uh, not even know that your ex-wife just wants to get on your nerves, right? So keep in mind that the stalker may pull in other people and they not have one clue what is going on. They also want to harass and impede upon or impose on your safety, your security, and your peace of mind. That's what they do. It's a mind game, right? It's a mind game. Once you identify what kind of stalker you're dealing with, it's going to be a little bit easier to manage the kind of disposition they hold. Now, try these videos out right here, guys. These are my old videos on stalking. I do give you a little bit more details in those videos. Thank you so much for being with me in today's video. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to stick around and get more videos like this. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.